All right, now that we have successfully discovered a couple devices on our network, the next step is going to be obtaining the correct firmware files to execute our firmware updates. In order to do that, we just need to navigate on the left-hand side here in the drop-down of the firmware tab, and we have our repository right here. In the interest of time, I have already gone ahead and downloaded the appropriate firmware files for the two devices that we have discovered, but in order to do so, we can go ahead and hit this Get Images button. It does take a second, but it will pull up a pop-up here in a moment. Now, what's happening here is HP Webjet Admin is going to scour the internet through hp.com to find all of the different firmware files that HP has available for its devices. This way, you don't have to go and manually search for your firmware. You can just look through this list and find the latest version for the device that you're trying to obtain it. Once you do, for, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this, this firmware version from May of this year. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And now it is going to ask me where I want to save this firmware file to. This is not sending it to our repository just yet. This is just getting it onto our system. I have it defaulted to send it to my documents folder. I'm going to go ahead and hit next and go ahead and hit get images. Okay, the download is complete. So now if I navigate to my documents folder, it's going to be sitting in here. Now, a couple things to note. If for whatever reason, you get an error during this process, a very common one that I have run into and one that various customers have run into is it, you get an error that says it cannot open the firmware file. In that case, and for whatever reason, Webjet Admin is not able to pull this firmware file directly from the internet, you can go into your browser and search for your particular series of printer and navigate to this page upon which you can expand the firmware tab and download the firmware directly from HP. In this case, I could download this firmware. It'll download as a zip file. Then you just extract it to whatever folder you want to set up for it and then after I hit done here, you hit the import button on your repository and it will show all the various firmware that you have currently in your documents folder or whatever location you set these firmware files to go to. I like to uncheck the show images already in the repositories just so that that way I can at a glance see what ones I have yet to import. I select it hit next. Okay, everything looks good. One more check, hit import, success. So now if we look into our repository, this firmware file is sitting here and it is ready to be uploaded to a device when we schedule our firmware update.